what's up guys welcome to in this after effect tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how can you create this uh, blood cell sort of liquid effect inside of after effect let's have a look okay without wasting any time let's get started now go to composition create a new composition the settings look good for me click OK now select the lips now fill color I select the red color and stroke width is 44 for me now create ellipse hold on shift to make perfect ellipse now select the shape layer and uh, align this ellipse if you don't have this this align window then go to window click this align this window will shows right about here and uh, now duplicate this ellipse three times open the first ellipse and delete the stroke and uh, open the third ellipse and delete the stroke as well and open the fill of the ellipse 3 and change color to black now open the ellipse 3 at 1 and decrease the size tiny one like this ok now rename this hit enter to rename this I say it black ok so we can recognize that ellipse so now it's time to animation so we want this black ellipse follow to this second ellipse wherever this ellipse go this ellipse should follow this ellipse so how we do that so open that ellipse second ellipse path one now select the position open the ellipse black ellipse path one now if we want to animate uh, only position of that ellipse then we do alt click on that uh, stopwatch and pick whip to uh, second ellipse so which means wherever this ellipse second ellipse goes this black ellipse follow this second ellipse position so in this case we will animate a rotation as well so as you can see ellipse path doesn't have a rotation property so what we do we select the ellipse second and uh, open the transformation ellipse second so here we have rotation property so same we have to open the transformation of the black lips and we alt click on this stopwatch and pick whip to a second ellipse transformation so which means wherever this second ellipse rotate this ellipse black lips follow to that ellipse okay let's move on so we now we don't need to mess with this black ellipse anymore we have to animate only these two ellipse so let's animate it so in the very beginning at the very first keyframe let's add keyframe to the position and open the second ellipse ellipse path and set the keyframe to the position and move 30 frame forward by holding shift and page down one two three now add a keyframe to these position now here at the ellipse second position we move this left side a bit and ellipse first position we move this to right side a bit okay now if we want to animate the rotation what we do 
we go to the ellipse second second transformation properties and here we go back to at the very first frame we click this stopwatch to make a keyframe and same to the ellipse first transformation click the stopwatch to make a keyframe and now we go back to 30 frame one two three now what we do we have to animate the rotation I'm going to press 1 and uh, here as well okay now we add the keyframe here so let's select this and this uh, shape layer and press U to reveal the, all these keyframes now uh, select the region press N to end region select and let's ramp review this what we have here we have this looking animation okay so what we do next now uh, if we want uh, at the very end to these uh, two circle to meet together to connect together what we do we copy these keyframe one by one to paste one two three we go back to we move forward to 30 frame and we copy this first keyframe and control C to copy control V to paste and same thing to here copy paste control C control V control C control V okay let's try and preview this what we have here okay so we done the animation thing so now move to the effect control now select the shape layer go to effect go to blur and sharpen fast blur now add fast blur around 40 now go back to effect matte simple choker now choke matte 40 as well now it's time to add turbulence displacement you can type in uh, in this effect and preset panel turbulence displacement and drop it right here so in this uh, turbulence displacement setting I, I would I won't mess with the setting because I'll leave it exactly default settings so next I'm going to effect stylize and glow so here I will change the setting you can tweak the setting as you want as good for you so let's hit the ramp preview press the zero key to the num key okay that's it that's the end of this video using the same technique with a different shape layer you can create different kind of liquid effect if you have multiple layers you can add adjustment layer on the top on the adjustment layer you can add the same effect that we used in this video on the shape layer okay see you in the next video